Uh, we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up in Don's Sport Update, and Alan Beagle is going to talk about what's coming up, covers, promos, articles, things like that. So give a hand for Alan. Good morning, everybody. Do you ever think you'd be in a room where you'd be applauded for Batman? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, real quick, this is what's coming up in the next couple of issues of Don's Sport Update. Arnold Bailey, who was at the show yesterday, if you, if you happen to meet him, one of our writers, first time he's been to the show in like 11 years. But is he here? Where's Arnold? Oh, there's Arnold. Hi. Good morning. Nice to be back. Keeping a low profile. <laughs> always. Uh, anyway, Arnold uh, has done, uh, always does our vintage articles. And in the next issue, which is the December-January issue, which ships in mid-November, Arnold captures all the dirty rats in his article on mob cards. So if you like the Sopranos type stuff, uh, you'll enjoy his article. Uh, we have an unexpected cover and an unexpected article about The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey. Uh, finally, there's a set on that. I think everybody's been waiting for that for over a year now, but it's coming out from uh, Cryptozoic and we've got all the facts about it. Finally, we've got a card set that's about card sets. Tops is celebrating their 75th anniversary and they're going to do so with a card Ooh. set that's a, a complete Ooh. retrospective of the work they've done. It's got a lot of nifty uh, additions to it, chase cards, something that you're going to enjoy learning about. Um, there's a new set for The New Hope with Star Wars Illustrated, also from Topps. We'll be talking about that. Look for uh, information on Legendary Lovecraft from uh, Monster Wax. Marvel Now from Upper Deck, Garbage Pail Kid greeting cards from Tops. If you never heard of a guy named William Castle, you'll know all about him after you read uh, Dave Thompson's uh, column on uh, Beyond Non Sports, where he talks about William Castle collectibles. Can't get much more obscure than that. Um, we've got an alternate cover for memorabilia, a variant, which is going to feature uh, Downton Abbey, which I think is a real unusual choice for a card set. Everybody loved the show. Is it going to work as a card set? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. But we've got all the information on that, as well as the complete bionic uh, woman and complete six million dollar man from Rittenhouse Archives. As far as promos in that issue, we've got one uh, wax packs from Secret Audio Club. It's not what you think it is. Uh, the complete six million dollar man, bionic woman, Rittenhouse, uh, the unexpected promo from uh, Cryptozoic on The Hobbit, and one on Breaking Bad. In the following issue, which ships in mid-January, look for a uh, Walking Dead Season 3 cover. That's going to contain a promo of the governor. Uh, it's going to have the same type of look as the Rick card has in the current issue. Uh, our annual preview 2014 uh, article, which we check with all the manufacturers and see what they're cooking up for next year. That's always good. And an article on M. Hop on Hop. Hopefully we're finally going to find out why he named his company M Hop on Hop and where he's hopping to and what he's hopping. Maybe he's hopping mad, I don't know, but we're going to find out. And uh, Non-Sport University. Uh, look for promos, as I said, on Walking Dead Season 3. The Art of Kevin Seconds from uh, M Hop on wherever he's hopping. And Legendary Lovecraft from Monster Wax. And one more mystery promo. And the reason it's a mystery is because we don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> Look, so, so look for about four of them in that issue. That's about it. Uh, anybody that's here from a foreign country, and I'm sorry, New Jersey doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else from a foreign country, if you could stay about five minutes after the meeting, boy, are you in trouble. <laughs> okay? Thanks a lot, and keep reading. Okay, just one more thing before we get to garbage girl kids, and that is, uh, thank you, the uh, spring show will be back here on May 3rd and 4th. That is our 60th, that is the 60th Philly non-sports card show, so we'll be doing something special for that. We already have a few artists that we can announce that will be coming to the show. Uh, we have back, Rhiannon Owens is coming back, Sean Pence is coming, and Tony and Elaine Perna are coming back from Canada. And we also have a new artist to the show, George Vega, will be here as well. So again, that's May 3rd and 4th, and most of you had uh, flyers on your, on your table there. So, without further ado, are you ready? Just about. Just about. <laughs>
Yeah, we can start talking. Actually. Okay. So we have uh, Steve Dumas from Tops talking about garbage truck kits today. So take it away, Steve. I'm the uh, senior brand manager on Garbage Pail Kids at Tops. I'm here with Colin Walton, who's our art director on GPK, and Brent Engstrom, who's one of our uh, great longtime artists. So we wanted to uh, first thanks everyone for coming. I know it's a little early on a Sunday morning, but we have a lot to talk about, so we appreciate everyone coming out here. Um, can everyone hear me in the back? Yeah. Yes. Mic, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Talk as loud as I can. Just like wave if I get quiet. <coughs> All right. So uh, I thought first, this is all we're going to talk about here. First, I wanted to go through um, what have we done so far in 2013, and then we wanted to give a little peek under the hood for Brand New Series 3, which is coming out shortly. Uh, then we want to talk about Minikins, and then we've got some prizes to give away, so get ready for that. And then we'll have some time at the end for some Q&A, um, and hopefully we'll be joined by Joe Simcoe, who's sitting right here. He's another one of our GPK artists, so he'll be joining us for the Q&A. So start thinking of your questions for the artists. We want to stump them. Um, all right, so just a quick overview. Um, this stuff is already out, so maybe you're all familiar with it already. Just wanted to do a quick recap of what we've done so far this year. Um, so far, we, we think we've been having a great year. Um, it's actually been our biggest year on the brand since the 80s. So it's a really good sign that we're getting a lot of momentum on this brand, which only means more, bigger, better things for us. So hopefully we can keep that going and keep growing the brand. Um, the sets that came out earlier this year, Brand New Series 2 came out in March. Um, this had, as uh, the name probably implies, a lot of new characters in it. Uh, one of the things that we brought to this series was returning classics. So, you know, we really looked back at our history and said, we have a lot of really awesome characters throughout the years. Um, let's find ways to bring them back. So we brought them back with new jokes. So you can see here, Doug Plug finally got his revenge. It took him about 30 years. <laughs> he got his revenge on the dog. Um, we also um, included more bonus cards, and we tried to change our philosophy a little on the bonus cards where previously they tended to be just kind of leftover stuff that wasn't quite, didn't quite make it into the set. Um, we tried to kind of amp up the bonus cards so they were more you know, specific pop culture references, things that we hope uh, you guys appreciate. This is probably my favorite bonus card of the set, the Albert Alien. Um, it's a pretty good alien reference. So um, it seems like everyone's enjoying that, but let us know what you think. Um, the other thing we wanted to do is bring back comic backs. It's something we hadn't done in a while, um, but we think it's, there's a lot of great humor in that. So some pretty cool stuff we did in Brand New Series 2. Um, then we came out in August, pretty recently actually, just a, a Chrome version of Original Series 1. Um, this is something that we'd also been trying to figure out, how do we bring back OS 1 in a way that's really fun and exciting and new? Um, not just a pure reprint, but there's, we're doing something new to it. And um, I'm not sure how many of you actually held the Chrome cards, but they're, it's like you have to hold it in person to see how great it is. Um, it's, I, I don't know, I forget who first said it, but it's almost like looking at original series one in high def before you kind of had low def version. It's just crystal clear, the images just pop to life. Really high quality cards. Um, another part that's really cool about that is we wanted to really kind of give John Pound even more of his due, so we showed off uh, his concept sketches, which are some of my favorite cards in the set. Um, they came out really well. And then um, autographs also, which uh, by John Pound primarily. So. That's just a quick recap. It's probably stuff you guys already know, but I just wanted to kind of give a recap of where we've been. So the next set coming out, um, you probably heard, is Brand New Series 3. This comes out just next month, and it's again going to have 110 new GPK. Um, and the twist here is we wanted to bring back, again, find a new way to bring back some original characters. So we're kind of affectionately calling it Unlikely Pairs. And it's the first time that it's really been a theme of the set to have multiple cards with two GPK in the front. So um, here you've got Roy Bot and Char Chad battling it out, kind of Godzilla style. Um, there's a lot of other pretty cool ones. That's some of our favorite cards in the set. Um, we're keeping up with the bonus cards, and we wanted to find a new twist on Atom Bombing. Obviously, we've done a lot with Atom Bomb over the years. He's really the face of the brand. Um, so this time, it's a new twist where it's <coughs> famous people throughout history kind of having their Atom Bomb moment. Um, whether it's a moment of kind of excitement or of inspiration or an aha moment or surprise or what have you. So, you know, this one you can see here is Genghis Khan about to charge into battle. Um, there's some pretty great ones in there as well. So, um, hopefully you guys like that. You know, definitely let us know what you think. 
Um, the other thing we want to, to mention is we're bringing back the Via GPK sweepstakes. Um, we did this with brand new series one, and um, we definitely had a lot of positive feedback from it. Um, we had five lucky winners. The one you see here is uh, Tony Lynch, um, which uh, you know he had the misfortune of swimming in a shark-infested kiddie pool, uh, which I advise against. If any of you uh, you know be careful out there. Um, so we're bringing it back. There will be five new concept sketches. Um, it's, it might be a little hard to see on here, but this one is basically a kid as a wishbone getting you know, snapped in half. So someone had some good luck there. Um, and there's going to be four other ones. So we're going to post all of these on our Facebook page. Um, if you're not a friend of our Facebook page already, I, I recommend it. We have regular updates there. Sometimes we'll have giveaways. Um, it's the place to register your code cards here. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And good luck to everyone to actually be on the card. Um, if you win, just so it's clear, you're actually part of the base set. So this Tony Lynch card is part of the base set of Brand New Series 3. Um, so it's a pretty uh, big big deal. Thing. So with that said, um, I want to turn it over to Colin and Brent. Um, show you a little bit, kind of, again, like an insider's view, making BNS 3. Um, so we walk through a couple of the specific cards in it, kind of from original concept to finished card. So I'll, uh, here we go. So the first one's Persco Poke. Yeah, so for this one, uh, this is an example, we wanted to pick one where um, it changed. It's like, so basically, I solicit gags from the writers and artists to send them in. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we'll just accept the gag the way it is, but we wanted to show some interesting ones where they changed around a lot. So Brent sent in a Popeye-inspired parody. You want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, it's just Popeye with a periscope. I uh, like the size popping out of the... But then it got switched to a submarine, obviously. Yeah, so we, when we looked at it, we, uh, we really liked the idea of the eye as the periscope. But we were wondering if there was a better uh, way to do it. And so we said, oh, what if the garbage pail kid's a submarine? Um, you don't need the Popeye context, so maybe we can use Popeye for another parody later, too. So uh, yeah, if we switch it to the submarine. And then so you can see the reworked gag sketch. Um, it's pretty tight, and so the pencil just tightened it up a little bit. And then uh, after we did the pencils, we do a color up. So Brent digitally colored the pencil drawing to show roughly what it would look like uh, before it's painted. So that way, uh, hopefully by the time it's painted, there won't be any changes. Um, <laughs> we get nailed down. And then uh, there's the card with the uh, design on it and the name. And then, well, if you want to talk about any, any of your process uh -huh. painting, uh, yeah, I guess the backgrounds are airbrushed and the actual garbage work is the crust paint and the carpet is Beautiful. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else on Periscope, Poe? All right. So the next one here is a Chimney Chad, which you can see evolved a little bit. Um, it's a pretty good Christmas gag, we think. So, all right, take it away. I guess originally he was Show the aftermath of him landing in the fire and trying to crawl out of the chimney. But I don't know, I guess it was maybe too confusing why he's on fire. So he said, like, it shows him hitting the fire. Yeah, this was actually kind of funny. Yeah. Brett sent it in, you sent it in like um, maybe a year before the set. Yeah. And uh, we just decided we wanted to save it so it could come out in a set that's closer to Christmas. So this is one like we've had sat on for a while. Um, and they wanted him smiling, maybe, so he's like reaching for a plate of cookies on one of them. <laughs> 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 looked a little evil in that one, we thought. So. Yeah, we want, it, yeah, it, it's always um, uh, a delicate balance. If a guard is getting hurt, um, which ones to have them react to the pain, which ones where they're just smiling. Uh, this one's we wanted to see what it would look like if he was smiling. So we kind of went back and forth with this one a little bit. But we ended up with the uh, screaming in pain. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it turned out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, we got rid of the cookies. <laughs> yeah, he's far away from them. All right. Anything else on this one? You guys like it? Is it good? Yeah. It's good. All right. Um, okay, cool. So, with that, I want to change gears a little bit um, and switch over to video. So, bear with me while I do this. Hopefully it works. It worked when we tested it, so it probably will not this time. But let's see. Bear with me one second here. Stop moving! Everybody, quiet down. Hey, my tickles, come on! I'm hungry. Does anybody 
anybody else feeling weird from the shoes? My stomach is Come on, everybody, come and dance. Whose tail was that? Is that what happened to your white print? Oh, someone barfed in your nose. My stomach is really take a little bit and the material is it's kind of like a firm rubbery plastic so it's got got some bounce to it you can move them around but it's also got some firmness so you can have a lot of detail in the sculpts um, so one thing that we've been really happy with is we've gone through as Colin can attest to a lot of rounds of revisions to make sure these things are really they're expressive they're true to cards but they have their own personality um, making sure the details are there so these are very highly detailed they pack in a lot of personality into just an inch high um, they're coming out next month. It feels like it's been a year in the making. Like we've been waiting so patiently for this to finally come out. Um, it's a pretty huge set. We wanted to go pretty big with this one. So there are 26 different GPK characters. Um, for the first series, we skewed towards original series one. Um, but there are also some newer guys. I and mean, you can see Stan Alive here um, from the Magnet set. Fiery Francis is from a brand new series. Um, so Brent won. Yeah, which is Brent. Good work. Yeah. Um, we love that one. Um, Dead Ted and Crack Sheldon. So the uh, the other thing with these is, you know, these are the full painted versions. There's also solid color variants. We wanted to kind of be true to our heritage um, with the cheap toys. So there are going to be um, there's a red, blue, green, and yellow solid color. It's just the mold color <coughs> variant for each one. Um, so lots of awesome stuff to collect. Um, on top of that, there will be 26 stickers, and they're kind of mini stickers to go with the minifigure theme. Um, they show the original painting, and then on the back there's a little bit of a bio about the characters. Um, it's kind of a comical reference, so you kind of get an idea of who they are. So that's kind of a high-level overview of what the set's about. Um, so with that, I want to show another video. Um, got a couple videos here for you guys, so take it away. Adam. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Adam Baum, and I'm happy to announce that... Uh... <laughs> Shoot, I forgot my line. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Adam Berm. Berm. Uh, really, my own name, Adam Berm. Hi, I'm Adam Berm. One, two, three, four. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't blow up, Adam. You've you got this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Adam Baum, and I'm happy to announce that the minikin figures are coming out in a few weeks and that. Uh, okay, I forgot my line! Alright! Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Adam Baum. Da, da, da. <clears throat> can, can I get a water? Can I get a water, please? <laughs> really? H how am I supposed to drink that? D uh, does anyone have a thimble? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Adam Baum, and I'm happy to announce that the Minikins figures are coming out in a few weeks. They're action-packed, fun, and curl. <gasps> So yeah, so obviously Adam Baum uh, wants to announce that the, these are coming, and the thing that's really exciting for us is we wanted to do more than just make the figures and put them out. Um, we wanted to make sure people knew about them, um, really bring them to life, um, and just kind of show who these characters are. So um, we're really excited. We have a YouTube channel. We're going to be coming out for Minikins. Um, it's youtube.com slash minikinsofficial. Um, so I obviously recommend all of you subscribe. Um, we're going to have a number of videos coming out. Um, first, this month are a couple of teaser videos, it's just kind of give you a taste of what's to come. And then next month in October is going to be really the heart of it, um, as the set launches. There's going to be six different episodes, which these are kind of little clips from them. Um, but the basic concept is these guys are alive in our world, they're one inch tall, they're trying to get by in our world. Um, a lot of things are tough for them, as you can imagine it would be if you're only one inch tall. Um, but they kind of, they, they go for it and they kind of manage to do it one way or another. Um, we're also going to have uh, some music video, um, which is original song about Minikins, and there are going to be some pretty awesome videos. We're pretty excited about those. That's probably my favorite part about all of these. 
Um, and then November we're going to have some more videos coming out as well. So I don't want to spoil the surprise for those yet, but there's going to be a lot of different videos. Really feature all the different characters. You get a sense of who all the different guys are. See how they interact with each other. Um, it's a pretty rich environment. So that said, one more video. This one will give you a little sense of what's to come. sure we weren't the only ones having fun. We found making these videos has been a lot of fun. It's kind of one of the most fun things we've done in a while. So we wanted to see if you guys could do better, and this is going to be open to really everybody. Um, you guys may have heard about the gold minikins. Um, this is really where they come in. So they're not available in packs, so they're going to be very rare. Uh, you can only really get them through promotional activities. So I will be giving one away today. The other way to get them is through these YouTube videos. So the way it works is pretty simple. Um, you basically create a video, just make sure the minikins are in there. Um, and, you know, some legal things like you own the rights to the video you put up, that kind of thing. Um, put the video up, post it on YouTube, and just share it with us. And it's basically that simple. And what do you get in exchange? You get fame and fortune, which are two of the best things in life, right? Um, fame, you get no matter what, basically. We'll share your video with all of our fans, so everyone on Yard YouTube, Facebook page, will see your video, which is great. Um, and then on top of that, the fortune part is we're going to pick the best videos each week to get gold minikins. Um, so again, these are really, they're pretty rare, um, they came out really great, we do have one here we'll, we'll give away, um, so that's the gist of it. Um, the official rules are still being, they're with our legal team right now, so I can't answer every detail, but um, it, they'll, the official rules will be up over the next couple weeks, um, so definitely check out the YouTube page, and hope you guys all enter, and uh, we get some awesome videos, so that's the YouTube bit. Um, so that's the bulk of our presentation. So. We wanted to now, we have some prizes here to give away. Um, well, we'll tr you know, this isn't Jeopardy, we don't have the buzzers, so we apologize in advance. If you think you rose your hand first and we missed you, like, we'll do our best. Um, we're gonna try to call in a few different people. Um, but we're gonna go through a couple different questions, each one, just raise your hand if you know the answer or think you know the answer. Just wait for us to call on you, um, and then just shout out the answer, and if you got it, you'll win a prize. So, is that fair enough? Everyone got it? All right, so we're gonna start with a few of these, name that GPK. We'll start with hopefully a pretty easy one. Um, so if you know this guy's name, the A name and the B name, raise your hand, we'll call on you. All right, you're pretty fast here in front of the camera. Adam um, Baum, oh, sorry. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Adam Baum Blasted Billy. That's right, Adam Baum Blasted Billy. All right, four chrome packs of your prize. All right. You can claim it now if you want. Or Harrison, here you go, Harrison calls us out. Okay. Another GBK. Uh, you were pretty fast back there. TV Stevie Geeky Gary. That's right. Five packs. Wow. Sorry, it's worth one more. Five packs. Okay. This one's a little tougher. A and the B name. Who got this? Anyone know? Oh. I'm going to give this guy a chance. You just got the last one. It's Gary Carey, Monsters of the Shell. Very close. Not quite. You had one of them right. It's Carrie Carey. Yes. And uh, Michelle. No. <laughs> uh, All right. You know it? Head over here. Head over here. Carol. On the side. Right. I thought I saw him. See him? <clears throat> no. No. <laughs> no. Back there. Creepy Carol. Yes. Creepy Carol. He was singing the sea, the sea version. The sea version. Yeah. yeah. I give you, I give you the, that is the, the sea version. Like, <laughs> you should get a pack for that. Okay. Yeah, give him a. He, he just got to buy his pack, so I'm gonna give him. Okay. Give a couple to this sure. guy for getting the sea name. That's a like bonus point. Is <laughs> that you? All right. All right. One more. Actually, there's two more. Uh, you're pretty quick. <clears throat> 
Huggy Betty Mean Jeans? That's a slight, that's very close, slightly wrong. All right, the girl, did your daughter know here? Yeah, Green Jeans. Green Jeans, all right, we'll give her credit for that. Very close. Mean Jeans is a different GPK though. That's a good, that's a good guess. Okay, this is the last name of GPK, so make it count. Just for the rest of the packs in the box. Does anyone else know? I feel bad, like, giving you all the packs. <laughs> I know. It's Corner Curio Cabinet. No, sorry. <laughs> all right, you back here. Brainy Janie? Yes. Anyone know the, B the other name? No. <laughs> all right. Jenny Jenny Genius? Jenny yeah. Genius is correct. All right, let's give him a couple packs for sure. him. The A name is good. Um, this is him over here. Okay. All right. After this, we're going to be making a choice. This is the last one. Like you really got to think hard. Um, who was the first GPK to be featured on a rapper after Adam Bomb? Feel free to take a guess. If you're wrong, you can always uh, try again. Anybody? Oh, this guy's like cleaning up over here. <laughs> Potty Scotty. That is Potty Scotty, correct. Wow, good job. Uh, series six. <laughs> I think we need multiple, multiple choices. choices. <laughs> <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is pretty good. This is you're officially the first person to own a Minikins pack now. This is not easy. Yay! Yay! I'm just going to say you're not allowed to get the next one. <laughs> <laughs> this is multiple choice, so even if you don't know, just take a guess. Uh -oh. but raise your hand. Uh, raise your hand first. Which of the following names has been used more than once on a GPK card? Chip, Gavin, Logan, Nora, Tate. You raise your hand, Rufa. Gavin? No. No. Did you pick one? No. Pick one. Someone from the back. Someone from the back. All right, you over here. Me? Yes. Logan. That's right. Oh. Logan. <laughs> Someone's about to get it. Minikin's back. Oh, You're the second person to own a Minikin. <laughs> <laughs> this is still a pretty big honor. The price is just rough dress. It's okay. So now we wanted one for Brent. Let's see if we got any Brent fans here. Um, I'm a Brent fan. All right, me too. I'm not eligible. Um, all right, which of these did Brent paint for BNS3? In case you can't read the names, I'll just read them real quick. From left to right here. Dodge Bill, Miming Miles, Fishing Lauren, Bouncy Brody, or Have Henry? I saw some hands on this side of the room. How about uh, over here? Fishing Lauren. No. Ah. I do like that one a lot. Oh, no, way in the back. Which one? The one on the right. No, <laughs> not right either. How about you over here with the glasses? The gray shirt, right here. No. <laughs> the uh, second from the right. Second, which one is that? The bouncing cast. No. Nobody knows what the paint is. I thought you had a gun in the style of this. Oh, man, that was like five good ones. Um, how about you in the blue? Dial. That's right. Miami Miles. This is pretty good. Brent's cash card. He just drew it. It's like fresh off the pen. I don't I know you have to ride home with me. Hey, Brent, was that one inspired by George Clowney? Um, maybe. Subconsciously. Yes, yeah, subconsciously. All right, this is the last question. It's multiple choice, so you might as well just take a guess if you don't know. <laughs> There's no shame in being getting it wrong. Um, okay, which of the following is not the Minikins Series 1? Brainy Janie, Buggy Betty, that was going to be tough. Did you, see, did you guys look in? Who got their hands up? <laughs> Brent, pick somebody. I don't want to get black when I pick the wrong person. Uh, this guy is a... Beastie Boyd. Beastie Boyd. That is correct. That's what I was going to You get the gold out of <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> Treat it well. What's that? Yeah. Come on up. <laughs> this is like a high honor. <laughs> He's all sealed up. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, Miss Geach.
Okay, so sadly that's all the prizes we have. Hopefully, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so how much time do we have? Do we have time for some Q&A? We have, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so for, ten minutes. for Q&A. All right, that's not so bad. So Joe, do you want to join us? Yeah, sure. In case anyone has questions for the artists? And uh, uh, this is Joe Simcoe uh, from uh, WaxEye and also uh, you, you paint GPKs and Wax, Joe, right? What's that? You paint GPKs and Waxies? Correct, yeah. Garbage Cooking Artists, Mikey Package Artists, and uh, through my wife, we have our own company, Wax Eye. We do the Serial Killers, which is a parody of uh, serial brands and horror films. So, monster mashup with the uh, yeah, Shiver So, yeah, if you guys have questions about, uh, about Garbage Pro Kids, the process, about what's coming up, or how they create them, fire away. All right, anyone have questions? Yeah. Is Chrome OS 2 going to have all the same parallel sets as OS 1? When you say parallel sets, you mean sketch like concepts, atomic, uh, atomic refractors? It'll probably be, it's not 100% yet. Um, it's, it'll probably be inspired by and pretty similar to it. We want to have some new twists in it. Um, do you have recommendations? you have one you want us to do, not want to do? What do you think? Well, I'll be pretty upset if you don't do the ones I collected for OS1. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones are those? Well, those sure. were the pencil sketches, which were awesome, and yeah. the atomic parallel. Okay, cool. Yeah, the pencil sketches we definitely plan on doing. Um, I think we have them for, we have a lot of those. Um, so we're working directly with uh, John on those. Yeah. Um, so those, yeah, those are actually my favorites too, I love those. Um, so yes, the answer is yes to that. Um, if you have anything you'd like us to add that you didn't see, let us know. Um, we're definitely gonna try to keep it a little fresh, but it's gonna be in a similar vein. Um, any other questions? Yes. Was the uh, Minikins image leak intentional or was it on accident? When you posted a picture of the binder and it was on the desk to the side, was that on purpose? Or? I don't know, should I? The world may never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want it to be? <laughs> <laughs> we really need it. Uh, it was intentional, actually. That was actually my desk at work, in case oh, you're curious <laughs> where I work. Um, that's what my desk looks like. It's, you know, <laughs> pretty exciting, I know. Um, but yeah, that one was intentional. Good. It worked. All right, good. We were actually we posted it and like no one walked, noticed for a while. Yeah. So we're like, oh, we have to like fake post and have <laughs> someone notice it. But you guys caught on. We we figured you would. Um, yeah. Good question. Question in the back there. What is the timeline for an average card design from concept <coughs> pencils through artwork and then out to a, a test for a finished card? Finished card. At least a week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we usually give about three months or so for the from concept to the finished art. Um, then it's about another month or so for the final card that's being uh, designed and um, laid out. Then the printing is probably another three months until it's out in stores when we just in the files for the printer. So and we do have a good more than six months ahead. We're already working on a few series ahead right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably even more than six months almost. Yeah. But, yeah. From like the beginning of like even coming up with the basic concepts for the series as far as like inserts, that's done almost a year ahead, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, what do you guys think? How long does it yeah. take you guys? Well, I was going to say, yeah, me and Brent can maybe talk about just the kind of the time it takes to pencil or conceive yeah, of an idea yeah. to finish painting. So. Kind of like, yeah, I mean, it, well, it all depends on approval, too. I yeah. mean, we rough out the concepts, uh, as soon as that gets approved. I mean, if we got everything approved, I think we're pretty good as far as, like, if it was all approved within, like, a matter of minutes, we could get through concept to final painting in a day. Possibly, like, one and a half paintings could be completed uh, per day. But, you know, it's always waiting through the conception. Um, then we got to get that approved. Then we do a finished pencil sketch. And then that, what well, we saw through the thing, and then a fun color rough, and then final painting, so. Yeah, when the gags get sent in, uh, usually we wait a while, um, so we get a lot of them at once to review them at once, um, so we can see uh, for variety, and you know, if they're similar gags, which one's better. Sure. Um, so usually, once the gags are approved, they've got a good stack, and then usually there's a few others that we just approve along the way, but um, they'll send me a batch of pencils, and then once those are approved, the color ups get approved. Yeah, I think as, as soon as I get the email that you know, there's a new set and we need to do concepts, I think at least I go through like 40 to 50 ideas. I think yeah. like, maybe even more, who knows. And yeah. out of that, it's like, you know, 
10 to 20 percent, you know, get used. But it doesn't mean the rejected ones won't get used for that set. Yeah. Like it just like three sets down the line. Yeah. Like I told Brent when he did the channel one, it's like we're gonna use this like a year from now. Yeah. Um, but it's just you know sending tons of ideas and then you know three months later do it all over again more. And yeah. It's kind of at this point. Yeah. We're just. Yeah. The concepts never sure. really end sure. because once it's, it is fun to do. I mean, it's, you think there's a lack of ideas, but you just there's you can go on forever. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, there's been over a thousand different garbage pail kits, but every yeah. time I'm like, oh, what are we gonna do? But then you know, a million ideas pop in my head. And to me, like, wow, that's never been enough. Like sometimes they're like most something like the sled crash one. It's okay. like we never did one about a sled crash. Right, right. Um, it's just amazing. You would think that some you know yeah. stuff, some of the stuff is you know relevant to today, but you know a lot of stuff could work. It could have been done in the old series, in the original yeah. 1985 series. Like, wow, they never even thought of that. Yeah. And, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Again, to answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> Any have there ever been fan suggestions that you've taken up? You know, it's unsolicited ideas that you ended up incorporating. I'll let Colin take this one. Um, we're not allowed to review unsolicited um, concepts. Um, I believe in the past there have been some um, the people who signed the submission release form. Um, I think uh, there was in the all new series. I think there was one like a soccer gag. That was before I was working on it, but that was submitted from a fan that got in. So in general, we're not allowed to accept it. Yeah, we're not allowed to look at unsolicited uh, submissions. Yeah. You have a lot of great ideas. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> Any other questions? Are there any limitations to what you can do? I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I remember that you had to change the design. Yes. Uh, because of, you know, cash bench kids. I mean, is there any limitations now? I mean, 25 years, 30 years later, whatever. Um, um, yeah, I mean. Well, we're using the banner logo. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, the logo is probably the biggest one. We, we, we use the new banner logo. Um, that's just, that's always going to be like that now. <laughs> so. Um, we're not, we're all never... Cigarettes and booze, maybe? Yeah, the old series ones, they were like smoking cigarettes. I mean, that's not a... Well, it's a case-by-case case basis. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's not too much that's like, all, we just guaranteed off limits, and it kind of depends. Um, we, we try not to be too... Yeah, I mean, the there's, top, there's some in the 80s that are a little more extreme. Um, like guys hanging themselves and whatnot, yeah. which we don't really do that much of anymore. But. Yeah, we try to avoid suicide. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, fun. that's one of the that's one of things timeline. that's like, yeah, I don't know if that makes it better. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's, but there's not a lot of topics like that that are just off limits. Yeah, we're pretty open. Uh, it's like, it was talking to Brent last night, actually, and he was saying how sometimes he's surprised. He'll send a gag and he's like, this will never get approved. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, and like, one thing he thinks, oh, it's a shoe in. Yeah. No, it doesn't get in. So it's like, you kind of never know. Any other questions? We have time for more questions? Yeah, we have a few more minutes. A few more minutes? Can you share anything, even the date on the greeting cards or information? Oh, yeah. yeah, actually, um, we can. They're coming out in November. Wait, the question was. Oh, sorry. Why don't you repeat it? The question for everyone was about the greeting cards. Uh, when are they coming out? <laughs> What's the basic story? <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're coming out in November. And they're, it's a little bit of a test. So one of the things um, we were actually talking about yesterday is we're trying to kind of experiment and try new things and see what people like, see what people don't like, and do more of the stuff hopefully you guys like. Um, so one of the things that we think is kind of cool and interesting is the idea of reading cards. So we're going to test them out um, this November. And it's going to be available through our online score, um, store, uh, through tops.com. And so they'll be going up in, in just a couple months, actually. Um, so it's kind of holiday themed. Yeah, it's They're, general holiday. Yeah, so Christmas, it's a, New Year's, Hanukkah, it's a good mix. Mm -hmm. Halloween. What's that? Halloween. Halloween. I don't know. No, if this Halloween. is this one is just for the for the end of the year. Yeah. Um, so it's we just, do want to do a Halloween though. We have a lot yeah. before that. Yeah, it did successful. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of uh, holidays mm -hmm. and seasons uh, to do. Yep. So, you guys, if it does well, you guys like it. You know, there'll be plenty more coming. Yeah. So definitely let us know. Uh, how how are they coming? Are they coming like singly, or you get like five? Oh, uh, there'll be two different boxes. Okay. Uh, the there's two different boxes. One box has uh, five paintings, but it has an A and a B version. So the front of the card shows the painting. The back shows the original card. So you get two of each card, one for the A and the B. And there'll be a second box of five different other ones with A's and the B's. And one of those boxes has a brand new original painting that was only done for the greeting card. Yeah. And how much will they? How much will they cost? Do you know? I believe, if memory serves, they're 19.99 for five parts. 
Or ten. For ten. For ten, you get all five different subjects. Ten. No, no, no. It's, it's, each box has ten cards. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there's two. There's five paintings with eight so ten cards and ten cards. <laughs> yeah, that's. We have time maybe for about one or two questions. One or two. See how, how hard this question is. Well, yeah, he yeah. sees Wikipedia back there, so it's going to be difficult. you got to be nice to us because we gave you like a box of it's cards. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Will they be limited or is there going to be a... The greeting cards? Yeah. Yeah, so the way we're going to do it is the first print is pretty limited. Um, and it's going to it's gonna be print, say, the first printing on it. And then we're just going to kind of see how it does. So if it does well, we might reprint it, but then it will not say first printing anymore. Um, so it's one that we're, we're kind of hoping like a, we reach a broader audience with. So we have a lot of, um, you know, our, our Facebook page, we have like 220,000 fans now and it keeps going up. So we're hoping this is the kind of thing that they might want to buy as well. Um, so we'll see. If we sell out of them, great. We might reprint them, and, but they, just, they won't have the first printing anymore. Um, so yeah. All right, how about one last question? Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Anybody? <laughs> Does anyone? Yeah, you can just go. There's no one else. Uh, just a little bit of information on what drives the decision between retail and hobby only, or is that your choice? Yeah, I mean, it's it's um it's one of those things where there's a lot of different factors that go into it. Um, in general, retail is I mean they're both important to the brand. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the short answer. Um, so we try to do things that are good for both channels, um, and it depends on the product. Some you know if it's like we're trying to now do even a little more separation than it's been in the past. I know there's been a lot of overlap in them in the past. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things we're experimenting with, we'll see how it goes, is um, it actually started with Wacky Packages, um, this kind of collector's edition, where it's that, that version is only in hobby, but has a lot of extra content in it that you can't get in retail at all. Um, so it's a higher price point, but you get a lot more value in it. And then the retail one is a little, it's a lower price point that, you know, kind of same one we always have, but not all the bonus stuff in it. Um, so that way it's, they're kind of still different than kind of split them apart a little bit. Um, but yeah, but in general, we look at them both and we want, they're both important to us. So for next year's series, there will be retail too? It's not strictly hobby? Yes, I don't, I don't know if we've ever had a hobby only release on this brand. Okay. Um, we do with other types of products, obviously. Um, but GPK tends to be one of our more retail heavy products. That's what I thought, but there was a sales flyer that was leaked and it was all hobby. So oh yeah. Uh, we do separate oh. sales flyers for the hobby distributors and separate ones for the retail. Yeah, yeah, that could be what that was. Yeah. Um, just because there's differences, we don't want to confuse them and what's sure. theirs yeah. and, and the other one. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right. Well, I really want to thank you guys for doing this today.